Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Survey. The Survey is a horror game where you wake up in a strange house. With no idea why you're here, you must explore this home to hopefully not die and find some inkling of what's going on. It's really dark. Okay. So we get out of bed. There's an obvious light leading me to this closet. Anything of note in here? Okay, I can turn on light switches. Not sure how important that is. Is there a light switch for this room? Yes. Okay, so lights are on, fan is on, we're nice and cool. Can I slip between here? Okay, I can. I walk at a very slow pace. So... I feel like I'm not going to be running, out running anything anytime soon. That's a that's an ugly chandelier. Let's go downstairs. Go where the light takes us. Oh boy. Thank good. Some cereal left out. Let's just turn on all the lights. That seems smart. Eight. Go. Hmm. Here. Is there something? Hmm. Kitchen. Nothing there. Oh, not good lighting in this kitchen. Actually, it's awful. Phone. Okay, there's question marks for things I should interact with. Ideally. Documents. Mary Walker. God, this text... Small as hell. I haven't written in this journal in a while, but I thought I'd write something down. Right now, Lilith is six years old, and while Marcus is, I think, four. Wow, really, Lilith? The other day, she was painting a picture, and looked fairly abstract at first. Just a blend of seemingly random shades and hues. After making dinner, I came back to find her replicating a painting we had in our kitchen. It was remarkable. I haven't told Yosef yet, but I think Lilith could end up being a very special girl. I asked her where she learned to paint that way, but she responded in a confused manner, as if all she was doing was casually playing around with paint. She managed to almost completely replicate the artwork, including even the smallest details of the piece. I'll definitely have to keep an eye on her talent. Right now, Joseph and I are both working parents. Financially, we're doing well. No real troubles. No family issues either. Besides his drinking problem. I'll finish this entry up after I cook dinner. Haunted painting. Hmm. Look for the channel numbers, unlock it quickly, she's watching you, don't leave the static on for too long, it makes her ears bleed. Right now, she's upstairs waiting for you. Number one, master bedroom, other bedroom, and then living room. So we're in the living room right now, I'm assuming. Oh. Jiminy Crickets. Uh, master bedroom we came out of. Other bedroom, I have not gone in. Okay. I picked up a phone. Do I? I X. So that would be nine. Oh, what's the upper one? That doesn't look like a Roman numeral, or is it? D one. D I. 
Can I write this down? No, I'd be too smart. Gotta be careful. So don't leave the static on for too long, it makes her ears bleed. I should keep track of where I see numbers in the walls in case I have to come back to them for whatever reason. We know there's one over here, right? I'm not looking forward to going upstairs. Eight. Go. I think that, actually, I think the bottom one tells me what to position it or something. Because I use number. Can I hide in closets? I can kind of hide in closets. I'm not sure if it's actually designed that way, but... Let's turn some lights on so they all turn off at once and spook me. You know, I'm actually pretty tense. I'm not sure what I'm, I'm expecting to see up here. I, I really don't want to look. Could be nothing. Honey? Honey, honey, honey. What am I doing with my life? Dear? I'm in the master bedroom. I don't like this. It's all interesting how, just with the right wording, you can actually send an atmosphere. Channel 8. Oh, here we go. Don't leave the stack too long. It makes her ears bleed. That's what they meant. Let's check out the other room. Locked. They said waiting upstairs. They didn't say, say the bedroom, did they? You can open some of these, okay. Can't crouch though, so it's not too useful to me. Yeah, so you just by saying something's waiting for you, and being vague about what it is or where, it's such an atmosphere. Like, I don't know, is this game jump scary? Is there danger? I don't know yet. I think this is where I was supposed to be. Static. That ain't good. I can't seem to pick up the key, so... See, those closets look like you're supposed to fit into them. Other bedroom, here we go. Lights are comforting! Until they go out! Then it actually makes it worse than before! See, you can't slip into these closets, I'm wondering if you have to hide in them. Chair. 2. SD. Okay. 8. Get the numbers now. 29. Because we've explored everything. Um, so we have a bearing around the house, which is good. And that'll be useful in the future if we have to avoid something and not die. 829. Then the last number would be here. 97. 829, 97. 8. 9. Whoops. 97. There we go. Hey! It's my, uh, room. The survey. Great! Careful. Blurry. Help me. I think we're gonna keep it on this one. Looks a little more 
sleep, media, mail, work, help please, attempt it, attempt number 89,264, you've been chosen to participate in a nationwide survey, here we go, no that doesn't actually work too well. <laughs> We believe you're qualified to be representative of a specific demographic group we are studying. Proceed to the survey app. These are actually the settings for the game right there. <laughs> now here's some of the gimmicks of the game, the survey. Continue. You gotta do this survey to continue in the game. You currently switch in your home. Yes. Are you currently employed? Um, maybe. Do you use your mobile device often? No. Did you forget for your password? Yes. Let's find the password for your phone easy or hard. I'm gonna say hard, for whatever reason. Is anyone with you in your house currently? Oh, this is a trap question. No. Just say no, so that way nothing happens. Is anyone supposed to be with you currently? No. Let's just keep saying no. Are you a college student? No? Do you enjoy being home alone? Sure. Does that feel creepy when you're home alone? Let's just say no. Maybe this leads to less ghosts. Have you experienced a phenomenal feeling as if you're being watched, but in reality you're not? Yes. Just happened now, because you mentioned it. Are any of these objects inside your house? Yes. Two plus, technically? Please take a short break. Don't die. Oh, you get hints to kind of guide you. Here we go. Time is until the next hint. First, answer the questions from the phone, then wait upstairs for the crash. Okay. I guess that's the kind of guide you so you aren't completely lost. I feel like that's a little bit too specific. Though. I should probably not use that option if I can't. That's moved. The angel's looking at the fire. Local prodigy. The Luff Walker began painting when she was six years old. Though only being twelve, this child prodigy is able to recreate masterpieces of only rudimentary materials. The child belongs to the local Walker household. Her father, Joseph Walker, a construction worker, along with Mary Walker, working as a secretary at a law firm. According to Mary and Joseph, the Luff loved to paint and expressed her talent early. She also stated that she practices anywhere from five to ten hours a day, just to perfect her craft. Her artwork is gaining popularity as the demand for her pieces and replications have skyrocketed recently. Although she enjoys painting, she also plays a variety of instruments such as the violin, piano, and cello. The top of painting she also enjoys... hopefully not murdering me. Static. It's darker than it was. Let me turn off the light in the kitchen. Water's running. Lights are out. Let's turn off the water so that way somebody can ambush me from behind. Mmm. Soft glow of LEDs. I forgot to turn off the static on the TV. It makes your ears bleed, remember. Let's check the other TVs. Maybe they got turned on. I'm gonna have to go turn them off. Let's go in for the kitchen. I feel like this is a safer angle to come around. See what I mean? That's kind of dingly dangling on zone. Yeah, lights get turned off automatically. Shit. Turn that on. I swear that light was off and then turned on. Watch yourself. 
The room light coming off? Yo, oh, yep. Check your back. Watch those corners. TV is off. So be careful when it came to that closet. Still locked. That one's off. The bathroom is off. Suppose we also look for subtle changes. I don't like this room. The static's always on in it. Let's try turning on the static. I'm seeing things. It's just graphical glitches. Let's try turning on the static in the bedroom. Maybe. No. Let's just go into various rooms and see if we trigger something. Here we go. Shit. Something's out there. Stay hidden, stay hidden. Read the document. I asked Mom to give me a diary after my first painting sold. I just thought it'd be nice to write down some of my thoughts. Mom and Dad want me to keep painting. I hear that thing crying out there, but I don't know if I should. It seems like all they want me to do is make me money from it. A supporter came in the other day. His name was Rick Driver, and he asked us a bunch of questions. Apparently we're going to be in an article in the local news. Mom's there to be helping with my publicity. I hardly, hardly even like painting. Whatever makes him happy, I guess. I actually like playing the violin and piano. Way more than painting. I mean, it's okay. But it's not something I enjoy doing that much. I just hope they include Marcus in the article. I know how much he loves writing. It seems like Mom and Dad barely even pay attention to him. It's just my fault. Maybe he hates me. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll trip, fall down the stairs, and break my arms. I can't paint anymore. At least for a while. Lilith. The ghost might be Marcus. Because they do like seem to dote on her reasonably much more. See, that opened on its own. I don't see anything in there, though. We gotta be careful. Closet, maybe? Get to the light switch. No. There's, there's movement! That's not my shadow! The hand! Maybe we should get downstairs now. When his hand is lowered, let's go down. Check the phone. For the next portion of the survey, we. Oh, God. Let's go back to the bathroom. Okay, so the game crashed on me a second time. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. Um, the worst part is it's not saving. I don't see an option of saving, so I'm not sure what to do here. Look at they're working. Are they working properly? Sure. You notice anything strange? Yes. She heard you. Hide. Personal preferences concerning music. Do you enjoy listening to music? Sure. Do you enjoy listening to rock? Sure. Do you enjoy listening to rap? Sure. Do you enjoy listening to classical music? Yeah. Do you remember your sister's taste in music? Uh, stop playing the brother. Oh no. Yes. On top of being a talented painter, she was also a talented violin player. Do you remember playing any songs on her violin? Sure. Were you ever jealous of how gifted she was? How everyone always paid attention to her? No. 
I'm a good person. We have a song you might want to join listening to. Turn on the radio downstairs and listen to the song. So that guides me. She heard me. Said to hide. I don't see the hand this time. Or the shadow. Maybe because I completed the survey? But she could, she could pop out suddenly and screw me over. Okay, let's get to the radio. She was in that room. I think she's gone. I should turn the light upstairs. It's stupid, but I should. So that way I know if she's in there. I'll see the light cast. The light doesn't work! She broke it. This one does, though. So. Be careful. Careful, Mr. Cricket. Careful. Did my flashlight turn off on its own? Yes, it did. Turn on the radio downstairs. Fuck. I don't see an option to turn down the ra turn off the I probably have to pick up the note. Oh no. Oh no. Careful, careful, careful. Lights are back out up there. Let's go in here and read the note. Marcus Note 1. So my sister gave me a journal even though my mom said no. She said that after her first painting sold, mom would get her a few. She gave me one of them, so I'm kind of happy about that. Nobody really knows I'm writing it, that I'm really into writing besides my sister. The supporter met my family the other day. After cleaning the house, taking out the trash, doing dishes, wiping the floors clean, and sweeping them all the broken beer glasses, from dad, I assume, and lastly, after vacuuming the house, I was excited to meet the reporter. I saw him pull into the driveway, pen and notepad in hand. As I saw him get out of his car, my dad told me that I had to stay in my room. I tried to ask him for a reason, but he just sort of pushed me in and slammed the door shut. The door, just before closing shut, struck my nose and I started bleeding. It was really the first time I've ever seen that much blood. It tasted very metallic. As if someone took a cup of water and dropped a bunch of coins in there and drank it. I never got to meet that reporter, even though I really wanted to. Marcus. I can't turn on the radio. I think it was just an excuse to have me come down here. Okay. Did you enjoy the song? I didn't hear anything! I can't even turn on your radio if you want me to. There's no prompt. I'm hitting every key. You bastard. Do you remember? No. Do you remember what happened to your family? No. The screaming. Can you hear it? No. Have you seen her? Yes. No. Are you lying? No. She's watching you. Do you feel her eyes on you? Yes. No! No. No, actually I don't. 82997. Oh god, a shadow behind me. It's on the phone! Holy shit! That's really cool. But still, holy shit! No. 
No. Just, just keep walking. Keep walking. Just don't turn around. Just keep walking. Don't put down the phone. Just, just. Nope. Nope. No. Don't turn around. Leave the premises. Then turn around. Shh. Maybe I was just seeing things. Maybe it wasn't her shadow. Oh god. Eight two nine nine seven. Fuck. Careful, Jiminy Crickets. Careful. Open that, just in case. Yep. Yep. Yep, Baroni. Shit. Take the corner. It's got a little bit of a... You can't sneak up behind me if I'm up against the wall. So say of Chimney Crickets. I don't know why I say that. Love Note 2. I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'm only 15. But Mom and Dad are driving this whole painting thing a little crazy. They keep asking to paint for hours and hours and hours. It's not even something I'm passionate about. I really like playing the violin. But Mom and Dad great at it. But it's really fun. Both of my parents are really pushing this painting thing. They quit both of their jobs just to pursue it, because apparently it makes them a lot of money. They never even asked if I wanted to keep doing this. I guess I don't really have a choice right now other than to keep painting. Maybe I'll make an excuse, or maybe I'll try telling no. I wish I'd pay more attention to Marcus, too. He puts so much effort in everything, and he does really well in school. It was Christmas the other week, and we had some family over. Marcus just looks so gloomy, so alone. No one even got my Christmas present. Besides me, anyway. It's like he doesn't even exist to anyone else. I feel terrible. Also, Dad has been drinking a lot more lately. I mean, he's always had some drinks, but he's doing more and more. He gets scary sometimes. Alright. Careful. We're gonna open it up. Doesn't open. Let's try turning on the static. The angel's gone! Okay, so the game crashed, I loaded the game, apparently you always spawn in the bed. It resets your lights, so all my hard work went to not. Um, I keep the cell phone, so I have to remember the password again. Which is... 8. So, I don't have my flashlight. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's set my base of operations of safe zones. I'm not sure how this game's safe system works. It's like an auto save, but it really isn't. Um, if I have to give some criticism to this game, as the save system needs to be less obtuse and a little more reliable. Okay, still error. Not two nine nine seven. I know the crash has to do with the phone, definitely. It always occurs when I open up the phone at some point. 82997. That's my code that you get on the phone in the first place. Oh, wait, here we go. Got a bunch of emails. Hey, Jaman Mark, are you able to come next weekend? And I can't come in, so it'll only be you and Caddy. It's gonna be a pretty busy weekend, and she can use the extra hand. Thanks. Mark Fishbach. That's my yeah, Mark. No, wait. Mark is my manager. Is my name Mark? Mark is. Mary Walker. See, I know we must be harmed with college work and taking care of Lilith. I'm at a hotel right now. I'm supposed to meet my clients tomorrow. I should be back within a week. Stay strong, Mom. 89264. 
It's code for something. Part 1. He watched her riffing in pain as her condition set in, knowing nothing could be done to help her. Among all her family, she loved him the most, yet... Turn around. He had a taunting grin on his face, as if seeing her suffer filled his heart with delight. For the first time in a long time, he felt joy.